everyone today I'm going to be doing a dramatic evening makeup look paired with a bold red lip this look was actually inspired by a makeup look that I came across on the covet fashion app if you guys aren't familiar with covet fashion go download the app it's an incredibly fun styling app where you get to choose different outfits different accessories different makeup looks for your character so I have it up here so you guys can see you basically choose different outfits different makeup looks different hairstyles and it really is so much fun but not only that these makeup looks that they have online are so inspiring and they really just made me want to recreate these looks so the one I'm going off of today is Jalice and she is beautiful and has incredible makeup so go check that out if you haven't already but this look was inspired by it and it is perfect for the season to come which is fall and winter this evening makeup look will be perfect for holiday parties girls night out just whatever you are going to be doing at night if you rock this look you'll be ready to go so please keep watching this video if you want to learn how to recreate this dramatic evening makeup look all right now the first step that I always do in my makeup routine regardless of what kind of look I'm going for is I apply a face primer. Today I'm going to be using the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. So I like to focus my primer on the T-zone of my face um, but I kind of just take whatever's left over and I rub it all along my face. So the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I just got this a few weeks ago and I'm loving it. All right, so now that we have both eyebrows filled in, I like to take a concealer and just place it right underneath the brow and that's gonna help just clean up the area and really make it sharp, crisp, and clean. I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. We're just gonna go right underneath. So now that you look like a crazy person, you can either take your finger to blend this out, um, but I've recently started using this brush and it works really well. So I'm just gonna brush that concealer through. So now that we have carved out our eyebrows with the concealer, you do wanna make sure you set that concealer. This is also going to work as an eyelid primer, which is going to help application later on in the look. So I'm going to take this Lorac Pro palette. This is the first one, one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna take this color white, um, and I'm just going to apply that where we carved out our eyebrows, so right at the very brow bone. The last thing we're gonna do for our eyebrows is set them with a gel. So I'm going to be using the NYX brand and the Anastasia brand. I really like to use both of these for whatever reason. I've just come up with this little combo and I feel like I can't do one without the other. So you're just gonna brush the gel through. I like to brush the hairs up in the front and then down for the tail. Okay, so now that we have our face primed, our brows done, and our eyelids primed, we are ready for shadow. So, because this is a really dramatic look, we wanna start off with lighter shades before we apply the dark, intense shades. So, I'm going to be taking the MAC 220 Fluffy Brush, and I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Palette 2, and we're gonna go in with Cool Gray. And this is gonna go right in our crease area and start off with a little bit. Um, this is really the trick to any smoky look is to start off with just a little bit and then build up. So because the look that we're going for, Jalice has a kind of lighter shade, so we I mean a lighter lid. So we want to make sure we don't get the dark colors into the lid area. So try to avoid that as much as possible. Now if you do get it on the lid, don't worry about it. We can go back with concealer to kind of remove that but try to avoid it as much as you can so you don't have to do a lot of the cleaning work later and I like to drag my eyeshadow out just a little because we are going to be doing a wing today all 
Alrighty, so now that we've got a pretty good amount on there, we're gonna go in with a darker gray. So because this is a smoky look, um, you wanna build that gradient look. So start off with something light, continue on with darker shades. So we're gonna go in with charcoal. And again, using the same, I'm gonna use the same brush, the MAC 220, I'm just going to get a little bit on that and already you can see how much darker that color is. And you wanna put this slightly right underneath. So you're not gonna go up as high with this color on the lid, you're kind of gonna go right below and start building that darkness right underneath. So this I'm gonna focus it actually more on the outer corner and then drag the rest of the product in towards the inner corner. Alrighty, so I've got the gray to the gray that I want and now that we are ready to move on to a darker shade, Jalise has a dark blue smoky eyes, so I'm going to take the navy color in this palette and a little brush. Um, this one is from Ulta, it doesn't have a number, but because this is a dark color, you wanna make sure you go in with a small brush in a small amount, and we're really gonna focus this on the outer corner of the eye. So we're gonna make a V shape, small V shape, starting just like that, and as soon as we get that color on there, we're gonna drag it a little higher. And then we're gonna take a blending brush and we're gonna blend that out. And this brush is a Morphe M330. And we're just gonna repeat the steps until we get that intense blue color that we want. So now you can see how much we've built this color. We do have fallout, which is totally okay. I'm gonna wipe that away. But now that we do have that intense blue color, we are gonna start working on the lid. So I'm going to take the MAC 220 brush, it's just a flat shader brush, Lorac Pro Palette One, and I'm gonna go in with that white shade again, and it's just this guy right here. And we're going to apply that right in the corners. So you're gonna start off So now that we have the lighter shade in the inner corner, we're gonna take that MAC 220 fluffy brush that we used for the gray, and we're going to blend the outer corner of the lid close to the middle. That way that whiteness and the dark blue and gray all kind of flow together. Or so, we are going to move on from mascara now. I mean mascara. We're going to move on to eyeliner. So we are gonna start off in the inner corner and just wing it out. We are going to take a makeup wipe or you can use concealer. I like to fold my makeup wipe, that way I can get really precise as to where I'm cleaning up the fallout. And you can do this too with a concealer. And you just wipe away. Thank God for makeup wipes. So I'm going to be taking my handy dandy beauty sponge. This is from Real Techniques, I believe. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. And I am in the color 211 Honey Beige. And then I just dab it all over my face and then you just want to take your sponge and you want to push that foundation in we have our foundation on we're gonna go in with concealer which I love um, this is the NARS macadamia concealer when applying um, I look so funny when applying concealer concealer is really going to balance out your face so it's gonna add brightness under the eyes which you always want um, but you don't want to do it just there you want to make sure you hit your chin your nose a little bit of your forehead that way your face is balanced and it's not just super bright right here and nowhere else so I am taking my morphe g3 brush which I love to um, press in that concealer and then we will go in with the Beauty Blender and blend it all out. And I'm just taking my blending, um, my, 
my beauty blender and I'm just pouncing it. Now that we've pressed that concealer in, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to set that concealer. Make sure you set that. And I'm using um, the medium shade, the middle shade, it's, a, it's called Lyric. Alrighty, so before we finish off the face, I do want to finish off the eye look. So I'm going to take a little Bare Minerals Compact that I have upside down, and I'm going to be using the shadow. If I can open it. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. I'm going to be using the lighter shadow, and I'm taking the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush, which I absolutely love for underneath the eyes. Jalise also has these little dots going up near, so we're gonna do that too, because I thought that was such a fun touch to this look. So I'm using the Sigma Eyeliner E05 brush, and it's this teeny itty bitty, I'll catch focus, there we go, brush. To make those colors really pop, like Jalise, um, hers looks completely glittery. Um, we are going to go in with the NYX Dramatic Sparkle Studio Effect Liquid Crystal Liner. But we're just gonna put that right where we put that blue. So kind of go underneath your lower lashes and just get that sparkle going. I just realized that Jalise's liner comes down a little further than normal. So what you want to do for that is take a liner. It doesn't have to be this one. Whatever liner you use, just make sure it has a very sharp end and precise end. And you're just going to drag it down. So that definitely does make the eyes pop more as well. Since we're still with the eyes, let's just finish them off. Let's add some false lashes and some mascara to really make the eyes stand out. So with any dramatic look, we need lashes. So I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, which are super dramatic, but they are so gorgeous. And they really do stand out whenever I wear these. Everyone's like, whoa. All right, so now that we got our lashes on, we do want to highlight that brow bone just one more time. So I am going to take a pencil brush. This is from MAC 213. And I'm going to take the color Snow. It's a really nice dark white shimmery color. And I'm just going to apply that right in the upper brow. And I'm also going to take that stark white and I'm going to put it right in the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so now that the eyes are completely done, let's finish off the face. I'm gonna go in with the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to use these two colors to um, bronze up my face. Jalise doesn't look like she has a super intense contour. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this Real Techniques brush. This is the um, contour brush. And just bronze up my face. It's not going to be a precise, super sharp contour but it is going to add some warmth to our face. I like to get my nose. Um, it's not a strong contour at all but you're adding some dimension to it by adding this bronzer. Now we're going to hit some blush. We are going to use Melba by MAC. You just want to apply that on the apples of your cheeks. All right, so Jalise looks like she has just a little bit of highlight on the upper cheeks and on the nose. So I am going to take my Morphe M31 fan brush and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which is one of my absolute favorite highlights. And just lightly hit the upper cheekbone area to add that highlight. Already you can see it there in a little and then we're going to put a teeny bit on our nose the best part of this look that really pulls it together is of course the red lips so before I apply any lipstick I like to make sure that I have a lip balm underneath so I'm just taking my Burt's Bees tinted lip balm and I'm going to be using max um, liner in lip liner in cherry All right, 
for some reason that looks so much pinker than it does in person but we're gonna go in with um, Mac Riri Ru, which is one of my favorite oh my gosh oh I was gonna say I thought there isn't much left I'm going to use the last of my Fix Plus and I'm just going to shower in it basically. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please make sure you check out Covet Fashion app and check out their other makeup looks. I was truly inspired by this one and can't wait to recreate more. Thanks for watching.